Hi there, it's Joe Sphere, Edge Dynamics, uh, making a show video. This is like my fourth or fifth take of this video. I've taken an antihistamine, which has uh, basically made me not want to do anything. I just want to lie down. But um, I've got a shave. I've got two days worth of, uh, no, what am I talking about? Two days, see? That's what I'm talking about. I've got, um, for the last two days, it's been itching like mad. And uh, you know, I'm really glad to get it off actually. Um, yeah, I just got a bit of hay fever. Uh, I had a bit last year and I just got a bit this year. It's just like a bit of a headache and I hope it's not COVID. Flu-like symptoms, my ear's going to be a bit funny. But... So I've taken antihistamine, which has just made me tired. But anyway, um, just unwrap this razor. This is one that I've got to test. It's one that I sold um, and I've got to post it on Monday. And I'll show you the razor. It's a Thomas Turner Sheffield. You see it's got some grubbiness there and up there. I've reshaped the heel but didn't really do a great job on that. Um, it's a full hollow or a half hollow quite sturdy, it's quite a heavy, heavy grind, um, considering it's a hollow. But this is from my the lowest price range that I do, which is £65. And the guy's never shaved with a straight razor, he's only shaved with shavettes, so I've just got to check if it's okay because I set the bevel on the 1K and um, then went on to the Izuku and did a Coma slurry and then a Tomo slurry. Which I don't, I don't normally do that. But so I just want to make sure it's alright. And uh, if not, I'll rehone it. If it is, I can post that tomorrow. And also to test the must is this from last week, which is the um, the warranted. Um, Francis Newton, see, my mind's gone at the moment, but um, had a bit of trouble with this, I had a massive honing session last night, and I mean, if you can see the pitting up there, because the blade was in a real state, and that's why I'm always worried, um, not worried, but a little bit dubious about blades that are really knackered, like with pits and rust and stuff like that. Because last night I was holding it and then near the heel it was falling apart and I mean like big chips. So I had this about five times last night but it's good steel now and I set the bevel on the 1k and then I went to my uh, new sweeter and did 16 laps. Previously I'd done 21 or 22 laps so I was debating more or less and I was just I thought why not just do exactly what you did to the cast steel last week's shave that was good so gave it 16 laps we find out if that's okay I might make a video on that because it's so ridiculous as well and then on top of all that business I've got this you saw this before this Wade and Butcher which I gave it a new bevel and excuse me um i wouldn't normally have to check something like this but i've rehoned it on my new maruka uh, a full nagora progression so because the stone's new to me although it's quite easy to use i think it is quite easy to use um, i've just got to check that that cuts right because i don't want to pack it away and you know it's got to be ready 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 and here's another one um, I think this is on my website. It's a, uh, oh yeah, M Hunter and Sons. Or Son, I can't really see that. But it says quality on the blade. It's a, it's a really nice razor. I've got a feeling, oh yeah, 
I did have a little go with this. I honed it off the sweeter with a full Nagora progression. It was basically something like two laps per slurry, so complete waste of Nagora stones. But um, it was a really good edge that fell apart on the second pass. But anyway, that's been really done to test. And then another one I just want to test because as I, these sort of things, I just packed them away. But because it was done on my new. Um, one of my new stones, I should really test it, which is uh, Mapping Brothers, and it's a three shilling, three shilling razor, it's a nice wedge, and it's got a silver, it's got a solid silver wedge, and yeah, it did have silver pins, but obviously they went, but I just want to make sure that's okay. And on top of that, I've got two razors which I finished the other day. Um, one of them I might save for a separate shave, but this one I, I wouldn't mind doing the full shave with this. I've got a pigeon out there. Um, I wouldn't mind doing the whole shave with this actually. This is the uh, a Marshes. Let's put that down. It's Marshes and Shepherd. And I've done about all I could do with this apart from doing it by hand really because it's like a rattler grind or a forks frame back or faux frame back um, covered in oil and stuff at the moment because I've noticed that um, the scales it centers beautifully you might see there's a I put a little rod in there to seal the crack because it was cracked across the pivot hole uh, the, these scales were in neat's foot oil for a couple of weeks and straightened, they were straight anyway but still still like to clamp them and uh, yeah I did this, hang this last night I uh, did this on the new Maruka uh, full Nagora progression and give me something really really special but who knows eh Right, <coughs> using my uh, Theta brush and I'm using the check and speak again. You get that itch. And uh, there you go. Let's add a bit of water to this. So I just fired up my Xbox after, it's been a couple of years. I don't mess about with games anymore, but I obviously I did used to like that stuff. Just playing Halo 5. I might have a go later. Just waste a bit of today, but it's not healthy really, I've got too much to do. Plus I'll be ignoring the girlfriend as well at the same time, but I'm not sure she can watch some crap on her phone. Right. This lovely, great stuff. Well, my face is completely dry, so I did. Yeah, I'll do this and then. Although I've got quite a bit of work to do on this, I'm going to chop some pictures into this one. And, uh, Edit it and upload it. It's Sunday, it's Sunday, so I deserve a day off. I went into the conservatory and I tried to pin two razors. I mean, put wedges in them, and it it's just a complete disaster. None of them, they won't fit, it's not going to work. It's uh, they're just cheap razors going for the uh, 65 pound section. So I was just trying to bung some plastic scales on there, and, and it's just because I took this tablet, it's like forget about it. Hopefully, I won't cut my face off with a shave, but.
Mate. Right, so first of all, <clears throat> we'll uh, try this fella's Thomas Turner. I think it's Thomas Turner. Yeah, it is. It's just Thomas Turner Cutlers to His Majesty. Or Majesty, I guess, faded there, Sheffield. Cutlers to His. Hmm. I've got one Joseph Rogers that says that. Super close. Doesn't feel very good. I don't want to shave too much with this, so I'll re this later. Yeah, it just feels a bit. Uh, really sharp. So this one I'll probably. Well, well I'll re this later. I'll re this tonight and just do it the normal way that I do these sort of things. Just to ensure he gets a good edge, but that's interesting. Yeah, it's close, but it doesn't feel very good. And this fella, the uh, Francis Newton. Let's see if I nailed it, or if it's not. Good enough. I think that's just as good as this razor gets, really. Very close. Doesn't feel drop dead super smooth. Uh, I will mess about with this. I think what I'll do. Because it's had, this has had 16 laps on that stone. On the uh, sweeter. So I think if that's some thought, either do a few less or a few more. Come back next week until I get this spot on. But if memory serves me, I've only ever had this razor really good off an arc. Or have I had it really good? I've, I have to go through my videos and see if I've actually had a shave with this one. Or if I've had a good shave. But I love the scales. I'm, I may reconstitute these scales. But, um, yep. So we're down to two failures, really. In my eyes. Right, let's see how this Wayne and Butcher feels. <clears throat> um, okay. The Francis Newton. Don't think I removed the oil off it. Off the bevel. That's not good. So this is my re re beveled uh, Wade and Butcher. Oh. Damn, this is a winner this one, I don't care. It's just the proper Wade and Butcher wedge. Wade and Butcher wedge. It's got that softness. This is probably the best I'm going to get today is this. You can, I don't think you can beat this. Man, you can't feel that edge. That's super, super smooth. Right. So this, I really can't afford to dirty the blade. I mean, stain it with water. I've got hard water here. So it's got a nice coating of oil on it to prevent that. But what I'll do with this is I'll spray it with clip aside, give it a good strop in, and uh, give an extra bit of tension on the pins, and I'll pack that because that's uh, special. All right, that's a pure success, purely. No, this is no, not that. I want to go with the. Uh, Mapping Brothers. 
something special about this one. I mean, that's why it's all pinned with silver. Silver wedge, silver pins. Um, I'm working on it, I can see it's a, it's a special blade. It's got a lovely shape. The HHT, if I remember, because I had this a few weeks ago, the HHT on this was really good. And this was off the new Maruka. So, let's see what this has got to bring to the party. Hmm. What is I'm getting is super sharp. I don't know what else I'm expecting, but that's what I mean. After that Wade and Butcher, what's going to happen after that? Really deserves a shave on its own. This one. Let's get some alum. Yes, yeah, nice. I think this, this uh, cream's drying up a little bit. But yeah, that's like a, uh, it's like a, just one pass to give you a shave with this, I think. Doesn't I need to go ATG? Yeah, it's super, super close, and I'm not joking. Right, we'll leave that. <clears throat> I'll disinfect this, and I'll strop it, that's perfect. Just try and clean it a bit. Right, that'll do. Just that to just confirm What I was doing was right. And then we'll try this one. This is the uh, the M Hunter and Son. I think this is pretty special razor from what I saw from it last time. It's got a really nice bevel, really even, small. See what it's capable of. Just to check as well, because this was done on the my new Maruka. Yeah, that's fine. There's no need to test that. That can have the same treatment, disinfected. And we come with the uh, Marshes and Shepherd. That's this one. Bingo. Let's see what I did to this fella. That's a stub tail as well. In case you never noticed that, it's a stubby, it's got a really tiny tail. Oh, nah, no, that's a failure on that one. So I think what's going on with this one, <coughs> it needs requires a lot more work because it's quite a th it's quite a thick piece of metal so I'm happy about that because uh, 
I enjoyed honing this last night. I even did a few tricks to keep myself on the stones a bit longer to, uh, but obviously it didn't really work out for me. But I did enjoy honing that last night. All right, so that's it. And uh, see you next week. No. Um, let's go back. Um, all right, let's carry on with this Thomas Turner and see what happens. See if it feels as bad as I think. That feels fine now. The edge sounds, it sounds really fine. Sounds like a full hollow. See? I can't trust myself. So I was gonna rehome this. Wow. This requires the, the lightest, no pressure with this. No, that's fine. And let's start seeing blood everywhere, gushing out. Yeah, I don't need to rehome that, see. I'm not very good at testing multiple razors like that. It's a bit stupid. But that is going to give me a good show. I feel like I'm talking to myself, but I am, aren't I? Until I upload this, I'm just a bit of a nutter. Alright. I'm quite pleased there. <laughs> I don't really know what to make of the other ones I tested. I can't, can't really tell. I mean, I think I'd know if they were bad, so. But if they're close, I mean, the Mapping and Web, I sh um, Mapping and Web, the Mapping Brothers, I should have just had a shave video just with that. It's a really nice razor. It made a nice video. And it would give me a good shave. So, the guy who bought this razor, I apologise for wasting this edge here, but I will strop it really well for you. Jesus, that's amazing. Excuse me. <coughs> and I was talking to this guy who was humming and hawing about which razor he should choose. And, uh, I was trying to steer him away from this one. I remembered it as looking a lot worse than it actually did. When I took it out, I was quite surprised. This is a, a, like, a hollow grind to get something feeling that smooth. Because sharp is dead easy on these sort of things, but yeah, this is a good shave.
That's perfect. <clears throat> Man, I know I was going to kill this and do something else. What an idiot. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, stand up, put a shave out next to that. <clears throat> That's all I'm saying. I've actually never tried a shave it, so I've not got a clue. They might be amazing. You know, I could just convert to shave it, but I doubt it. Something else I never tried, razor related, I can't think at the moment. But definitely not a shave it. Right, yeah, it's got plastic scales. Plastic wedge, plastic scales. But I gave it some nice pinning. Look at that scent as it's tight. Yeah, it's got some nice uh, brass pins. All right, yeah, I'm pleased about that. <coughs> so next week, I want to get a shave off. I won't stop until I get a shave off that Martian Shepherd because it's a, uh, or Marshes and Shepherd. Is it Marshes? Yeah, Marshes and Shepherd. This is quite a special razor, that. So the fight, the struggle continues. Just let me rinse off here. Now, that's, that is really strange because there's nothing there. Normally I have to go over that. There's something there, but it's so minor it's not worth it. Facial hair has been hiding the fat, so I put a lot of weight on uh, on the uh, since lockdown. And uh, yeah, so it's good to hide it. But I'm going to finish today. I just used I. I was looking at what creams to use and all this business and what would look good and that, and I thought you know just use exactly what you want to use. So I used the check and speak. And I use the Institute Carite. It's the uh, face cream. I love the smell of this. And this is the it's Shea, but their products don't actually smell of Shea. Mm. It's not perfumed. It's uh, it's kind of like a I don't know. They call it milk or something milky. It's like a neutral. It's like a neutral thing. Hi guys, it just told me that um, I've, I've reached the maximum recording time. So I don't know how long I've been going on, been talking and shaving, but um, I'll just splice this onto the end of that. I don't know if that's something in the settings or I've never seen that before. Well, I've put untold amounts of uh, Carrot Shea face cream to re energize myself. Well, yeah, I feel much better now. <clears throat> and that's it. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you're all doing well. And uh, see you next week for another episode in this mini series. Cheers. Bye.